Hi, Dina Wakely here, and I want to share with you my new tissue. It's almost glassine feeling. It's got a cool coating on it, and it has that crinkle glassine sound. And we have a couple different op options for you. You can get the big sheets, and you get a bunch of different prints and some blank sheets. And you can get the three by three inch quotes. You get 20 sheets of the quotes. And it is so fun to, to mess about with in your journal. And you can use gel medium to glue this in and it will go perfectly flat. I thought I'd show you. So here are a couple pages happening here. So the reason why that tissue is so flat and, and almost looks like I wrote that on there with a pen is because I've used the gel medium. And the best way is just to tear or cut your tissue. Use, use gel, the, the Dina Wakely gel. Now this is the glue that's great for thin tissue. And it glues in, kind of, kind of disappears. If your background's really dark, listen, that tissue's not gonna disappear very strongly on a dark background, but it will on a light background. If, it's the, if the background's dark you, dark, you can get your scribble sticks or paint in there and you can tint the tissue, but it, it sure doesn't stop me from doing what I want. That's upside down hearts, cool. Okay, so that gel medium is so good with this tissue, okay? It's great for thin, thin, thin paper. Now, the problem is though, I also have a tag on this page. <laughs> My gel medium, which is a fantastic for thin tissue, is really not so fantastic for anything heavier than book paper. And so to glue things like tags down, you need a stronger glue, which is why we did this new glue. We're, we are calling it Ultra Thick Gel Medium. And what is great about this new glue is that, I just want to open it, it almost looks like kindergarten paste. Look at it. Thick, 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 kindergarten paste. It's got a lot of body to it. So it dries 100% clear, it dries flexible, it dries matte, and it's very workable. So think of it almost like a workable fixative that you can keep working on top of it. It's not so slippery or shiny that you can't keep working. And I know it seems white, and it is white, because it has a mattifying powder in it, but when it's dry, it'll be, it, it really will be totally clear. So if when I have something heavy that I want to go here, I can, I can use this thick glue. So let's say I have this, this tag here and I want to add it to the page. I've already glued some cool um, quotes on there. And I just want the quotes maybe, not the whole tag. Well, this is thick and heavy. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue. My favorite gluing method is finger. <laughs> put a little glue put that on there. Now this glue has a little bit of give so that if I if I put that there and think oh shoot I wish I wouldn't have put it right there I can slide it for a minute um, and you know if I don't want it if I if I don't want it to move I just go away come back and that will be stuck right that tag was already curly and I didn't glue the edges which is why it's popping up but just give it a second and that glue will, will have an incredibly strong bond and it will hold as you turn to the canvas and the burlap in the journal so if I have this burlap and I want to glue a tag to it which glue are you going to use ultra thick right uh, if I have this page and I want to glue something heavy to it, which glue am I going to use? Ultra thick. So choose gel medium when it's dictionary weight or lighter, ultra thick for everything else. But they both have similar properties. I want to show you two of the new Scribble Sticks colors. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's set number two. Don't forget the original set. When, how to know the difference is the original set has white. Look for the white on the tin. That white stick is it means it's that's the original set which are fantastic and the new set has five out of the six new colors we didn't do buff because it was really similar to white so uh, and then it has the colors that we missed so that elusive cheddar everybody's like Dina when are you doing a cheddar stick now's the time so see how I flopped everything into the lid it's so hard to get them out of this but you need this because this protects them so I store them in the white molded container and then I pop them into the lid when I want to grab them and the stick look at cheddar do you not want to just marry it and have its babies it's so good I don't have any water I don't I think this is somebody else's water but I'm gonna stick my finger in it so those are water soluble pigment of course and I can get incredible intense color with the sticks
So the cheddar's on there. The other colors that are on this drawing, that's lapis. So we included lapis and it is this beautiful dark royal blue. Isn't that great? This is a, the fuchsia stick, which you're going to have. You're going to have eggplant, peacock, marine, all of the, oh, an olive. Oh my gosh, look what, look what happens to olive. So olive is a wonderful yellow green. Then when you wet it, it turns chartreuse. Do you not want to die and go to heaven? Look at that. So I absolutely love the olive stick. So I can't wait to see. These are going to be great in combination with set number one. And they're going to give you another depth of color that, 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 that we just didn't have before. So new scribble sticks are awesome. The new glue, I think you're really going to love it.